Now, it's often confused with Bollywood, but the Mughali film industry is starting to thrive in a world of its own. The authentic cinema, based on culture and realism from Bangladesh and India, is coming to London for the very first time. The Bengali Film Festival will be the largest of its kind in the outside uh, world, uh, outside of Bengal, rather. In just a moment or two, we'll talk to the man who set this festival up. First, though, let's take a look at one of the films that will be featured called Runaway. Well, I'm delighted to say with me now is the film director and producer, Musa Ali, who is the founder of the London Bengali Film Festival. Thank you so much for being with us. It is the first uh, festival of its kind. Why have you decided to do it? Uh, firstly, thanks for having us. Uh, we, we've been in... W London and Bengal has a, a relationship of uh, over two centuries. Uh, but unfortunately, when it comes to cinema, we don't get that full representation. Uh, and the idea really is to sh share the rich culture, history and struggle uh, through cinema to a wider audience in the UK. I said right at the top, don't get confused with Bollywood. I mean, what is the fundamental difference, would you say, between Bollywood and Bengali films? Fundamental difference there is that Bollywood is very commercial-led with a lot of song and music and very mesmerising, if you like. Uh, Bengali films are traditionally more artistic and uh, deal with more day-to-day -day struggles and uh, have, you may call, a bit more realism within the films and narratives. Do you, do you think that's still really true? Hasn't Bollywood been moving away? I mean, I've got a list here of uh, 12 top films. You know, you think of Well Done, ABBA, uh, which won the National Award for, for Social Causes, that category. Bollywood has moved towards exactly the market that uh, you're in? Well, uh, you have to ask the audience members and the film producers. A lot of the times, filmmakers from India do not like to be referred to as Bollywood films as well. So it's very difficult to say what is a Bollywood film or not. A lot of the times you have Bollywood film producers that will be making independent films and the star members will actually even work in Bengali films for next to nothing for the credibility. Uh, we saw one clip there of uh, Runaway. Uh, let's show our viewers another clip of another film that uh, will be in this festival, Family Album, because uh, we're talking about social issues. Let's have a little burst of, of this film and then we'll pick up and describe what they are trying to do here, the director. <laughs> So, Mansour, as we continue to watch this, just briefly describe what, what this film is about. It's a, a rom-com about a same-sex relationship. So, ideally, something that's a taboo of a lesbian relationship, if you like. Uh, and... It, it, Films like that, that sort of material, are we seeing more of that within Bengali cinema? Just those taboos that you're talking about? Uh, well, Bengali is two regions, of course. One is in West Bengal, which is part of India, and then you have Bangladesh. So generally speaking, uh, films of this nature are, are a bit more uh, apparent and more visible in West Bengal as opposed to Bangladesh. But we're trying to... Uh, put together the cultural Bengal so you know this, there's a lot of history behind the partition everything else affects the actual division and identity uh, and how popular uh, are these films proving to be very popular uh, the only struggle for us in the UK is because of the distribution method the cycles and the processes we unfortunately do not get to see this kind of cinema hence the festival yeah I was going to ask you how difficult it is to, to sell the, the films abroad but even back home you look at somewhere like Mumbai and the theatres there uh, they have to show Bollywood films yes, don't they yes Bollywood films are uh, it's easy to uh, estimated Bollywood film in the region of 10 million to 20 million British pounds, whereas a Bengali film, if you make anything above five to six hundred thousand pounds, is considered a big budget. So you're dealing with big, big uh, mammoths here as well. So I that's interesting because that. I asked you at the beginning what, what uh, are the key differences? The budget for a budget, film, yes, yeah. that's a massive difference. But it wasn't that long ago that Bollywood was making films with those sorts of budget, was it? So we're, we're perhaps on a similar sort of arc, we're just 
10, 20 years behind. Well, no, hats off to Bollywood or the Indian film industry for what they've done. Uh, yes, if the, even 15, 20 years ago they were making uh, budgets in the UK we would consider independent or low budget, but they've done a fantastic job. They've created an international audience. Does that mean, though, that if you have a small budget that it is difficult to, to get established well-known stars to actually take part in these films, or, or is that not true? Uh, generally speaking, it is. It's not just the stars. It's, the, it's when you go to a distributor, they, they would like to think if you've spent about a million pounds or more on your film, they're more interested. Uh, then there's people to invest in your release and distribution. So it makes it far easier to have uh, notable names and, of course, the budget behind it. Just one sentence, finally, or two. Why are you doing this here rather than there? Because it's already done there. We need to express and share the stories over here and introduce it to the UK market. Well, very interesting. It is lasting, what, it's a week, is it? Uh, six films? Six films over three days. Uh, we, w we want to welcome everyone to come and watch these wonderful films. Well, perhaps I'll get along. Uh, Mansour Ali, thank you very much for coming in thank and you. explaining your festival. Good luck with it. There is plenty more coming up on today's Global. Don't go away.